What's up, my apples? It's your boy, my apples. I made looking cute, looking clean, looking sexy. Oh, oh. I told you to act like you got some sex. This the spider soul. Man. Spider Man said he clean. And you know what day is? It's actually Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I know Day it's usually Thursday, but we're going to switch them up this week. It's Wednesday. Today is actually just a fan. OVR. Let's go. All right. So today's episode is completely dedicated to the number one movie of the past three years by far in the first week it ranks number one spider-man no way home by the way there are a lot of spoilers gonna be discussed so if you don't want to be spoiled get it to them at the top yeah it's it's wednesday of the next week you don't want to be spoiled get out by the way it'll be hawkeye spoilers too i'm just doing it just to mess with joe um but i will spoil it anyway because i was right <laughs> I was right, and I want to on this show to be confirmed that I was right. The week Spider Man came out, Kingpin will be de debuting, and Daredevil on the same week. So they debuted on the news. same week of Spider Man come out. They did it on purpose. I wonder why they was moving the date around. They wanted Kingpin to come out the same week as Spider Man, so they trying to tell. Oh so. yeah. But I want to know. Let's introduce everybody. We see at the top left. We have a newcomer, Jacob. Introduce yourself. Tell us a little about yourself. Look, anything uh, you got going on? Well, what's up, y'all? I'm Jacob. Uh, I'm from Instagram, really. That's the only social me social media I have. Uh, it's Cushion Comics. I discuss uh, Marvel and DC comics, like movies, cartoons, and movies. Uh, I love comic books, and I'm just here to talk about Spider Man. Let's go. We're going to try to get them to start making them TikToks of, with Spider-Man oh, knowledge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> might, <laughs> might, might, might give them a whole show on here just to talk about comics. You know what I mean? Let's go. Okay. okay. Be ideal. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to say everything it. else. Links are in the bio, by the way. By the way, new, new pages. The overall 99 sports page. The content channel will all be... We might have some debuting on New Year's for the content channel. Sport Channel Monday Morning Quarterback be back next week. Um, Sleep Z's is my new ASMR channel. We got like a hundred channels now, so we're trying to do everything over here. And to my right, right there, the one, the only, Monray. How you doing today, Monray? What's up, your boy representative of the Brothers and Dudes back again to drop this hot fire. It's all Spider Man though, so it ain't even gonna be that bad. It ain't gonna be that bad, but. Greatly appreciate y'all letting me join on once again. Don't hate me. Just accept me for who I am and what I'm going to say. It's coming. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Let's go. Up up the middle, top center, we have the best voice, the best on the mic, the legend himself, my consistent co-host and host of Do You Hear Me? Unico Williams, how you doing today? I'm well, man. But today, I just want you to call me the amazing. Unico Williams. <laughs> oh, Lord. Because I need to hear it. Okay. <laughs> and we, we had to save the best for last. The Peter Parker hater. Peter Parker pickup hater. Pickle man. Yeah. <laughs> Friendly neighborhood scumbag for one more day. We gave him an extra few days just because <laughs> the movie was good. Yeah. Last episode of last episode is the Friendly Neighborhood Scumbag. We're back to local next week. Yeah. yeah, so he, he got it. Since Peter Parker was good, we gave him another week since the movie was actually yeah, good. Yeah, we got that extra day. The cutoff day was the 19th. Uh, man, we'll get into it. This movie low key made me mad because I can't have it like I want to, but Jari, no. And by the way, this is the date that one of me and Joe's most viral videos, the December 21st videos, came out. But well, one of them came out, and the other one was about. So let's go. So December 21st. Very funny skit. We're gonna do more skits on the content channel, so be up for that. And today, and we let's get into it. People probably tired of us talking. It's been four minutes and forty seconds. I don't want to hear y'all introduce yourselves. <laughs> so today, Spider Man, Spider Man, No Way Home. We're gonna start off with 
Tori, since everybody want to hear since he's the Spider-Man hater, your thoughts on the movie, and then we go into spoilers after you give your everybody give their random thoughts on the movie. And... Um, man, like like I said, I'm I'm high key mad that I can't hate like I wanted to. I wanted to come in here and be like, I know I don't mess with Peter Parker like that, and his movie wasn't all that, and but I can't. <laughs> it was fire. It was. I, I found some little stuff to pick at, like the pacing and like the quickness in which we cured some things. Some ailments were found. I found some little stuff, but outside of that, man, it was it was good. It was good. A little bit, like I said, a little bit disappointed, but I'm getting over it slowly but surely. <laughs> maybe I'll watch. Maybe I'll watch it again later, and I'll like it a little bit less. It can happen. So. <laughs> Stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned. We okay, got, and in the middle, Joe, your thoughts on the movie? Um, man, I thought of this movie as uh, like like church in a sense. You ain't got to go every Sunday. <laughs> you ain't got to go to church every Sunday. You done read the Bible up and down. You done been to all the Easter. You done, uh, God raised on the third day. I mean, I mean. So with that being said, we done did all that and wore the Easter suits. But you ain't got to go every day. And but it's nice to go for a reminder. And as much as I felt like Peter Parker and Spider-Man himself has as much as he had it feels like you know he helped shape my personality and my moral my moral code. Um I needed to be reminded because because you know the world has been kind of shitty and people have been sh really shitty people. So um circumstances, all type of stuff will make you give up on like really just being a good guy and just make you want to be selfish. But watching that movie, it definitely did what it needed to do for me, which was bring me back to center, help center me, help me help me get back to what the focus is. So I appreciated it for that. Great movie. Cool. We have wow, Jake. Bro, that was super deep. <laughs> Okay, well, um, so Set the tone. this is like the first Spider-Man movie since I think Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire where like, I've seen it three times and most of the time when I see a Spider-Man movie, it's only exciting the first time. But this one, every time I feel like I, I catch something I didn't catch the first time. So, uh, and I think it's emotional. The other Spider-Man movies haven't been emotional for me, but this one, this one kind of like, it, it grabs you and it, it it don't really let go. It's cheesy to say, but it's a good movie. So yeah, that's that's yeah. All right, now we got Monte. Monte said it was better than Endgame in the chat. I ain't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping bomb out the gate. He just rubbed the hands already. <laughs> yeah, this I'm gonna say man. something, and it's gonna go far probably. I believe personally this Spider-Man movie is the greatest superhero movie, period. Whoa. Better okay. than the Dark Knight trilogy. Better than Avengers Endgame, Infinity War, every superhero movie. I believe it's the best one people. ever made. And there's gonna be a bunch of DC and Batman <laughs> fans gonna be like, bro, it's not better than the Dark Knight. Like, this movie is better than the Dark Knight for a few reasons. Simply put, this movie has so much past, present, and future star power in it, and it don't even crowd each other. A lot of times you forget that they're stars, and they blend seamlessly into the movie. Not to mention the fact that unlike the Dark Knight trilogy, it has pretty much a completely original story that is unique to this own movie. See, it doesn't do like tried and true tropes like, oh, villain does this hero goes to stop them no it actually goes so far as to fix mistakes from past movies that weren't even made by marvel <laughs> like it literally <laughs> fixed problems from six of the spider-man movies that is amazing so it, it goes that far and then, and then a lot of stuff up. the yes, thing that i was yes, so, so happy with that somebody else brought up this point to me is that at the end of the day, they started over. Like at the end of the day, they literally did a, a trilogy of Spider-Man movies to start over to where now they can use any antagonist, they can use any story, and 
this Spider-Man now has his own personal identity. He's not in the shadow of Tobey Maguire anymore. He's not in the shadow of wow. Andrew Garfield. He, he was has the leader. His own identity as his own neighborhood Spider-Man. His own past backstory. I like how you said that. Thing. I like, like how this, you said that. Right, like Tom Holland now, his own individual Spider-Man. He's not Iron Boy like, Jr. Almost like, yeah, he's not Iron Boy Jr. anymore. I like how you no. talked about the trilogy. To me, the whole trilogy is like his origin story movie. It's it's fire. I, I like how you said that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, like, you, they, you, I'm glad you rubbed the hands. You know, like, bad, but I can't find a reason bro. to argue with Monte. <laughs> Look, I can't like, even. He's him. Like <laughs> this is now Tom Holland's story to create. Over the course of the future, however they want to do, like this is now Tom Holland. You right? Set it up. Like this is him, and it's just and the emotions they make you feel for him, especially at the end of the movie. Because I struggled with this myself. I don't know if I could make that choice, and I'm not even talking about the choice of like telling Strange, you know, to do what he had to do. I'm not even talking about that. To go into the store, see your best friend and your girlfriend that you know that loves you. Damn. Right there, you can tell them. Damn. and make the decision for them. Be like, it's better that y'all oh. don't know me, and it's better for me to be alone for possibly the rest of my life. Even mm. she, even though she told him, mm. they both said, "Come find me and tell me everything." And he made the decision himself that it's better for y'all not to know me. I don't real even know if I can Spider Man. That's Spider Man stuff right there. That's real Spider Man right there. So Yo, now we've wanted to see in the MCU. And he, and, he got and, he got my hat off for him. And like this. And can, I, I, I can't, can't and can we so say that it opens up a future struggle. Gwen Stacy, Felicia Hardy? No, no. There's yeah. only the dire. There's only the dire. No, no, it, it, not it, do this. It, it, there's it, only the dire. There's it, only the dire in his future. He can't be lonely the whole time. He can't he gonna it, get it, her back. Give about two. He got to get him back. Mate. 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 They also got Silk. They introduced Silk a long time ago in the second, in the first movie. We're getting Zendaya back. She ain't gone. She Jacob just got to know work on her college degree Jacob right now. We're gonna let her make it. Oh, I know, I know. But I, I, can you I'm imagine Spider Man in Boston for the next two? That would have been lame. That would have been lame. Yeah, he can't. It is a dance. She just would have been getting called all kind of, all kind yeah, of. So we get Gwen, He going to this local college and giving Jacob Jonah Jacobson these free pitches for cheap. He going to MIT and he gonna get his girl back. I said what I said, man. He had the GED book in the box in the apartment. He going <laughs> after his girl when we all good, bro. It's gonna Preach, happen, bro. Preach. You're not gonna stop this. We getting Felicia Hardy, bro. He be that's gonna be in the Sony verse though. We that I don't feel like we'll see her in the MCU. Sony. No, she like with, with she this movie, like, Sony and Marvel are forever connected. Yeah, after you but make, you're stuck you're with each other. Like, after that. You're not going to see think, like. I think they're going to use more them because in MCU. I think they separating certain ones and then they're going to give the other ones to them. And the reason I say that is because. I was going to ask, what's your thoughts, uh, Zelmay? What's your thoughts? Yeah, what's your thoughts before we go into all the spoilers and stuff? Okay. Um, my thoughts on this movie is it is an incredible movie that fixed all the, a lot of plot holes. It opened up a whole new world. It stopped him from being Iron Boy Junior. It's a yes, it did. it's a three part origin story that we didn't know where it was going. <laughs> we L- were like, a lot of left field. Yeah, moments. we were like, "Where's Uncle Ben? Okay, this where he don't exist." So we got another one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. killed off a fine ain't me. Oh, all right, P. I know happy sad. Yeah, she broke up with happy. Happy wasn't happy. Um, nope. <laughs> happy was upset. But P- Tom Holland finally made the hard decisions because he tried to skip them for the whole first two yeah. movies. Every yeah. hard decision he tried to skip. Okay, Iron Man. Um, I know I got pressure to be you. But I need uh, you can have this, Mysterio, which almost cost yeah. screwed him over. Uh, he just gave Mysterio all this power that Tony Stark gave him, and then almost screwed him over. He kept trying yeah. to kick it down, kick kick it down the road. He didn't make no hard decisions, and at the end of the trilogy, he made two of the hardest decisions he could make. One, mm-hmm. his no one, no one knows Peter Parker basically doesn't even exist. They don't even know Aunt May is his nephew. Well, yeah. well, his aunt. Like, yeah, he's like, how did you know her? 
I would ask you a question. Like, so if he brings up in the Spider Man outfit, they gonna all act the same. Like if he yeah, he, up on he, my Spider Man is known. Everybody knows Spider Man. They yes, don't Peter, Peter Parker don't Spider-Man. exist. They don't know Peter, so Peter Parker. He can pull up the hop happy and then yeah, happy with no Spider Man. Interesting. That's yeah. a, that's an interesting. Topic. They just don't know who Peter Parker is. So he pull off the mask and I'm like, who are you? By the way, it's the same thing. Which it, I, I don't know if y'all were ever so read Century. It played into a lot of stuff. I don't know if y'all ever read about the Century. It's central, it's essentially what oh, happened yeah. to Century. Oh yeah. Stuff. If anybody know one of the most OP characters in Marvel. Yeah, the Century. Century when they brought him back, they made it seem like he was an OG character, and they like illustrated him to look real old and everything. But it, it I think it was like what, like oh six or something when he was actually introduced. Yeah, uh, they like. Something oh, I've like been that. here. I just use my power to make everybody. Yeah, forget who I mean, I was. forget me. Yeah, and Ooh. essentially the same thing is that. Uh, it, Peter Parker basically doesn't exist. Everybody that possibly is auntie's family all gone. So it's like most of Avengers really don't like talk to him. So it's kind of like he's on he's his own for real. Completely. Uh, oh, long. can we can we drop a spoiler since we just dropping all the spoilers already? Can I say something? We can. Charlie Cox came back as Daredevil. Like, did y'all, did y'all not love was, that? Did y'all not appreciate it was, that? It was cool. That scene was amazing. Which is which, which was surprising with the Netflix how everything turned out. It was cool to see that he still got to show up in the so, movie. When we first came on for chat, uh, somebody said about uh, they mentioned Wilson Fisk before Spider Man. Well, yeah, I think it was Zelda. Yeah. yeah, it was on. They did it on Hawkeye on. Tuesday or Wednesday morning. Yeah, they yeah. show Wilson Fisk. And then after Kevin Feige said something about if we have Daredevil, it'll be Charlie Cox. I already knew. I knew he was going to pop up, but when he caught that break, I hope we get to see more he, of him. I really do. Lawyer. That was my he's just moment. Good. He's just a really good lawyer. Yeah. yeah. Hey, a lot of one-liners <laughs> in this movie. I'm going to give uh, it that, too. Practice. It had a lot of hot one-liners that will be memes going forward. Monte. So. Yeah. Monte. Yeah. Monte, Monte. I have a thought uh, based off of like a prediction I'm seeing for the future. Um, so I'm gonna let I'm, I'm gonna try to finish this thought first before I ask y'all that question. So, you know, I'm predicting since they can start over, we're probably gonna get introduced in the next Spider-Man movie or somewhere in the future. We'll get introduced through Wilson Fisk, and we'll probably get introduced to. Maybe a potential Osborne in our world as well, since I'm thinking probably get introduced to Harry Osborne. But the reason why I'm bringing that up is because um, for the first post credit scene, you know, which excited the miss out of me, uh, small bit of the symbiote so happened to be left in our Just world, and we already know what that's going to birth forward. That's going to birth forward a black suit, Tom Holland Spider Man, and in turn another Venom. Which, which is going to be it? Eddie Brock also in our world. Is it going to be Eddie so Brock? Still or Blaine Blaine Johnson? Johnson? Or is it going to be I want, Blaine? I want Agent Johnson Venom. Right I want there. Agent Venom. I like Agent Flash. Venom. Flash Thompson, Agent Venom. <laughs> it could be like Venom. Yeah, the the Flash Thompson they have, though, I don't know how I want. Do you <laughs> want him to be Not that Flash MC? Thompson. So I ain't going to lie. I'm going to make him get jacked. I they gonna make him get jacked. I think he could I play it say, because I think his personality of wanting to be a cool kid could work, Tor. I think him wanting to be the cool kid and fit in could fit into a story, even though they're gonna have to make him lift weights, like Joe said. But I think I mean that's how it kind of goes in the comics. Yeah, he just wanted I mean, to be the cool kid. So. Kind of a, yeah, and then he I goes like the, the like the military point, and flashes. Monte, um, continue. Yeah. yeah. No, I was saying, I'm saying that's a good general prediction as to. What route are they gonna go with this symbiote? They could give it a Tom Holland Spider Man. Although we all know there are other possible routes they could go with the symbiote route. You could always make another Carnage. You can make another Venom. We have an Agent Venom. You can have an Anti Venom, or you can do your own original. Well, you gotta, you gotta get the original right? Venom before you can get the Anti Venom. So like it, it's a, it's a a lot of different ways. But my my more or less my question is like, what route do you think they'll go next? My 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 own prediction for what I think the route will be is probably, I think they're gonna introduce Harry. I think that's the easiest way to introduce an Osborne is to introduce because that is Peter's best friend in in some form, and you need yeah. Osborne Corp to come into this because you've already introduced Wilson Fisk, which is the origin of a heck of a lot of his uh, antagonists anyway. Fisk is responsible for helping with the Goblin Serum, the Hobgoblin, Scorpion, 
uh, Rhino, plenty of people come through Fisk. And it's not just a coincidence that Fisk was introduced the day before the Spider-Man movie came out, as Trevor said. It's not just a coincidence that they pulled yeah. this. So, to me, it makes the most sense that somehow Fisk is probably going to be the one, him or Osborne, to get their hands on the symbiote, study it, and then make its way to New York anyway. Now, whether they're going to go for a Tom Holland black suit or whether they go with somebody else, I personally think they're just going to... I really think they're going to bring in another Eddie Brock anyway or use Flash Thompson, but since Flash doesn't have connections to Peter anymore because Peter's not in school, so it's not really... And that Flash just... It's it's hard for me to pull that. Like, could they pull another Eddie Brock and have this Eddie Brock actually be the one that works at the bugle with Peter when Peter starts over and gets upset or whatever it may be? I figured they go that route anyway. anyway. Who's the better? Who's the better Eddie Brock? That's gonna be. I don't know if they'll do that though. I think they'll leave him in the song. No, that's why I think they're going. Does anyone feel like Topher Grace was the better Venom? (laughs) That was garbage. That's not even a debate. Come on now. Come on. I think they're going. I think they're going with Flash Thompson because I don't think they want to mix mix Sony's. I think it'll confuse too many people and they try to separate. Can we get a new Flash Thompson though? No, you stuck. You made that decision. Man, that's gonna be an awkward move. You made that movie. decision a long time, four or five years yeah. ago. You made that decision. You gotta live with it. You gotta jack them up. It is what it I is. I mean, you can do Flash Thompson and the just human growth like, hormones are gonna be real on that set. You could do like, but no, like you could since it's, since I'm already figuring it's gonna be at least I say at least a year or two before we get like a possible another Spider Man movie. I'm thinking be, at least a year. Gotta be. So, if you're gonna space it out, they're gonna be done grown anyway. Like it ain't gonna be much, it's gonna be like a year or two. But I'm figuring you advance a little further. Peter done you know started to be a little more by himself. MJ done moved on and he he meet up with her in college. Flash Thompson just so happens to be the new boyfriend. You know, oh, he, you know, no. he starts to get a little bit in there. All of a sudden he's <laughs> mad Symbio come on out of nowhere. So you want not only Tragic. do you not want a different Flash Thompson, you want him to tag Zendaya too. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> he gonna like come back. Point. You don't get rid of Mary Jane. She gonna come back. We all know it. But, I mean, totally Peter Parker Mary has Jane other hoes. Everybody but him. So, like, we know she gonna come back because she's not dead. Like, she's gonna come back. Um, I got. Yeah. I, got, got a, I, know, I got an idea on what um he's gonna go. I got an idea. Um. Uh, the Founders Institute, Reed Richards, uh, Peter Parker is a genius who oh, nobody okay. knows who he oh, is. Fantastic Four, the Ooh. Future Foundation. Yeah, the Future, the Future Foundation. Foundation. Yeah, I said. Now, did you know that like John Watts, the dude who directed this Spider-Man trilogy, is, is already doing, set to like yeah. make the Fantastic Four trilogy? Yeah, he's so, making like, the Fantastic Four. Yeah, and that's why I can heard that idea. The yeah. Fantastic Four, can, you'd yeah. be a mess. That is a good fantastic four movie. Yeah, because um the same that's the reason I came up with that idea because I, I saw John Watts is doing both movies. Yeah. <laughs> so I can see why that they is at this point. And it'll be cool. Makes sense. Yeah. It'll get me in the theater. Cause yeah. if you if you tease Spider Man is gonna be in it, because I'm not interested in Fantastic. By the way, for people I'm that don't know, see, I think it's such a rich history. Like, like, there's so much you can do with the Fantastic Four if they didn't really, already the movies, drop them. And Joe, the, the movies didn't suck so do many times. Any justice for the Fantastic yeah, Four? Like, if you read Jonathan Hickman's Fantastic Four, you won't read a better comic story. I yeah, promise you, are, it's man. one of the best ones in comic history. Honestly, there's like that, and if you were to go to DC, then maybe like. The Long Halloween for Batman or Batman Hush or some mm-hmm. seminal like that. You got to go, yeah. Check it, check out that. The Fantastic Four is amazing, uh, especially the early, the early stuff is really good, and they have a lot of villains that like co connect and everything to everybody else. So I'm thinking, uh, the the Future it's Foundation elite, is. I trust uh, Disney. Uh, the Future Foundation yeah. will be really good. Don't do that. I trust Disney. How was y'all's like yet. theater reaction when y'all was sitting in the theaters? Like, how was everybody around y'all? Did they, they like react? Were they hype? When Andrew Garfield came out, it was like hype. a wrestling pop when Stone Cold came out. I saw popcorn yeah. flying in the air. <laughs> yeah, Dude, the <laughs> popcorn in the air. Like, yeah, I'm sitting in the front, so I it looked was the back. Most hype. So I looked back and I Did just your saw neck hurt? popcorn. Nah, the theater. I'm, I'm I got you to it. That's the only seat they had was the front. Yeah, he, said I, he said I stay sitting in the front. I go to that too many stubs. debuts. So you gotta I get the stubs. 
straight to the back. <laughs> hey. But but yeah, how were y'all? I know, like I said, I saw popcorn flying when Andrew Garfield came out. I'm not gonna lie, Andrew Garfield the same, but just a proud little uh, insert right there for the trailers. When the Batman trailer came on, when people had reactions to that trailer. The only reaction that like equaled it in the movie was the Andrew Garfield reaction, and maybe Charlie Cox. Yeah. That Batman but, trailer had yeah. everybody hyped. Just a little insert, just you know. That's said by the Batman. Yeah. How about you, yeah. uh, or how did your uh, cat react? Oh, you know, I was gonna say because you know it was all illegally. We ain't giving the corporate no money oh, okay. out here. You already okay. know how it, you already know how we bumming. Uh. Yeah, I, lots of stuff YouTube will red strike us for, but it was it was a hype moment. The do, the dog <laughs> felt my energy. The cat, she was she 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 was nipped up and knocked out. So I'm halfway looking over my shoulder she now. I ain't trying to talk her up, but no, bro. And like I said, as a Peter Parker hater, like I said, I still they bro. This movie did a lot. So many moments. Like I said, it hit me in, when Aunt May, bro. If you ain't if you ain't had to oh, tighten up, a little, man. if you ain't have to tighten up a little bit when that happened, come on now, be in touch with your feelings, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. I might talk to my yeah. therapist about the way lie. that some yeah. of those moments made me feel. Yo, she she real, somebody, I was like, damn, she sold you that too. She a beast. How is she? she? Like, but it's bruh, like adrenaline, making yeah. sure Peter's okay. That's like her son in a way. But, so she got to make sure he cool. Yeah, so she Look, that's female like empowerment at work, yo. We gave Aunt May Uncle Ben's role, but she still made it work. So you see, look, she did deliver the, the line. quality, perfect, the quality, yo. Okay. When she when she dropped the line, when she dropped the line, it was Monte. look, Monte gonna be like Aunt Let May was preach. better than P Uncle Ben Let ever could have been. Nah, uh, I got that. I got an opinion. Like I thought of this after I watched the movie, and I'm still thinking it. I'm about. 95% okay. on the boat that I don't believe DC will ever top this movie. And I mean, period. I'm oh, about okay. 95%. Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly. Well, Never, I, ever. Just, just, I, a little, I, just a little. I mean, error. People said I'm the same the thing about Endgame. People said the same thing about Endgame. And they said the same thing about Robert Downey Jr. I'll tune in. And then Joaquin Phoenix came to him up. and beat him in the Oscars. I can't, I can't see DC working together I, I long enough know. and and in a good enough controlled fashion to pull off a movie of this match. I just can't see it. Like DC just it's don't do they don't right focus long on the right things. They focus yeah. on like on CW and and like they they treat their movies like a joke. The only time but they then they don't even good, then they don't even really like the tie them in though, do they? Them movies be just random. Don't tie it into much. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like they do stuff a little too late. Warner Brothers is a terrible owner for DC Comics. For, like, the Frog ain't cutting it. The Frog yeah. is not the yeah. mouse. You see the difference, yeah. people. Yeah. Frog ain't the mouse. Not a fourth Batman, bro. I just... And, and it's terrible. It's on shows, bro. Third Spider-Man, though. Third Spider-Man. We do. I mean, movies do, do have to reboot. Yeah, I don't and, mind the reboot. I mean, it just... These reboots coming quick now. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, you yeah. just, we just hired Ben Affleck. Let's go, let's go get what's the name? Like, oh, a year later, get like, oh. nostalgia dollars. Bruh, the, the, nostalgia the first, money's real money. The Justice League movie was trash. The Snyder Cut was dope, but like the regular Absolutely. Justice League movie was trash. Like, they should have never put that out. Should have just waited for Zack Snyder. And why I say I don't think they're gonna work together long enough to get anywhere close to these kind of movies. I'm just not seeing. They're on the Rock I, no. to like save their franchise. I know the Rock got the number one yeah. and two streaming movies He's in the world. Hype. <laughs> He's too hype. Like I know, I understand the Rock has the number one streaming thing on Netflix and the number one streaming thing on Disney. Bruh. I get it. He's the Rock, <laughs> but that don't mean he gonna save <laughs> DC. No, no. Like, I mean. I this have the way thing more faith that I, in Robert Pattinson's Batman than I do in the as Rock. Black I have Adam, way more that's faith. the thing. Is the Rock gonna save DC as Black as Adam? Black, is Black Adam saving the DC verse? I'm with you on that's that. The, is that what? Bro. Is that the thing we're gonna hang our hat on? No, hey, but Adam that's okay. Cold, but there's other no, no, cold no, people. I'm not saying but, he's not cold. I'm saying is he, the, is he who you're putting the but the, technically the, bet the house on Black Adam? Do you think you can understand? If I if I do if I do anything, it's Robert Pattinson's Batman. If I'm putting anything behind you, but Joe, you. 
got to think about it. People said the same thing with Robert Downey Jr. Don't forget about Jerry Iron Man. Man. and Morbius. Oh, hold on, let me get it off. What'd you say? Don't forget they said the same thing about <laughs> Iron, uh, Iron Man with t- Robert Downey Jr. If everybody, I don't know if y'all, yeah. I don't know if a lot of people remember that narrative, but the narrative yeah. was Robert Downey Jr. had his issues, and this dude is not oh, gonna yeah. save Marvel as this character, mm. which is one of the more fringe characters. People forget Iron Man is very fringe. Yeah, he wasn't popular. Iron Man is fringe. You're right. You're Iron Man is fringe, Joe. Before Iron he, Man is not fringe. Before Robert Downey Jr. He was fringe. He was fringe. Before, before the movie, he was fringe. fringe. People thought he was. People thought he was an actual robot before okay, the Civil got, War thing. We have in, to put in the context that the movies were almost twenty years ago yeah, now, yeah, so yeah. there has been a significant amount yeah. of time yeah. since. When the I was little, Iron I was not checking for Iron Man coming. No, I was <laughs> checking for Iron Man comics. He was a smart genius guy. <laughs> but I'm Joe. When I Bro, say, when I say was. Iron Man said she was, was full of Joe, be smacking women. So I'm always, I always, that's my always that's my remembering says, of Tony Stark from the comics is that he be he be putting the smackdown on women when he Joe, needs to. When I tell you, I go in the comic book store. Man Batman gone, right. gone, Spider-Man gone, Wolverine gone, X-Men gone, Fantastic Four gone, Iron Man full. Thirteen issues of Iron Man still on the shelf. <laughs> what I'm saying, that's. Before Robert Downey Jr., that's how people felt. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Before that, by the way, somebody said um Iron Man, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is typecast as Iron Man. I'm like, I, I don't know about that because I see him as Sherlock well, uh, Holmes too. They talking about, they talking about like uh, problem wise, like he shares a lot of similarities with Tony Stark throughout like comic yeah. book history and stuff. Alcohol, yeah. okay. their, their and characters stuff. are a lot alike. I, yeah, I, I, think, that, I think he fits that type of character. He fit Sherlock Holmes too. He did not. Well, he, get the dude that played another he did not. He did not dude. fit. He did not fit Doctor Doolittle, but he fit Sherlock Holmes. Good God, no! Oh no! He fit he Sherlock should, Holmes. Tropic Thunder. That, that Doctor Doolittle. Tropic Thunder. But yeah, Sherlock Holmes no. and Robert Downey Jr. got a similar attitude, so he fits those type of characters. So I could see him being typecast as a character like that. But I don't know if he just Iron Man as a typecast. Tom no, Holland right just... now is Spider Man because Uncharted. I said, "What's Spider Man doing in Uncharted?" Yeah. <laughs> That's the no, just I can't Uncharted even watch Uncharted is not a movie. Honestly, it's like kind of hard yeah. for me to do it. Yeah, so it's gonna be weird. But see, that's the problem with a lot of them. Like a lot of them, they've been. Because he's not the only one. Like, Chris Evans had the same issue. All of them have been these characters for 10 plus years. Yeah. So, like, they yeah. were tight cast because I that's all the that they played. The and so, like, that's why Doolittle was bound to fail, even if it was good, because they were so used to seeing him in an Iron Man suit yeah, that it's hard to see, see him in like something that. else. But he it's fit, easier he fit, now. He fit Sherlock Holmes. It's been a couple years. Then why he but at first, we forget about that. But people forget he fits Sherlock Holmes. Though, but Sherlock Holmes is like Tony Stark, technically. It's like, just I ain't got as much. I ain't in the same period as you. But like, girl, he got a commitment that he doesn't really commit to. Yeah, it's just like, hey, I just use. Bro, my... I don't get a lot of heroin though. I he... don't know how much. Well, he fits that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like it's almost to the when, point when where movie, you can't like, even imagine. You know it's almost to the point you can't even imagine Robert Downey Jr. and not think of him as an asshole. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's still Sherlock to that Holmes point in a lot of people's yeah, mind. He's right. He, like serious. they were just stuck in those episodes. Yes. They really were. So, I, so it takes them years to get out of it. So I think he typecast. A, I think he's typecast. He's a, a caring character. asshole. He's a very caring asshole. He cares yeah. about if you while he's talking shit to you. Yeah. You know. So I'm. Yeah. So I'm agree. I'm agree. He typecast as that type of character. I don't know if he typecast as Iron Man, but it got to be like the smart Alec jerk. Who's like smart? He'll get out of it. It'll take him a little minute. Like he already out of the Iron Man a little bit because people are willing to see him in other stuff now. But it just takes some time to get out of that role. But, but people he's just forget been, after, they've been there for a while. Well, Sherlock Holmes after Iron Man one. Yeah. Uh, it was around uh, the same time. It was yeah, so the same time. Then, it was a couple years after I think. Yeah, so I don't I, know fact so, checkers people. So, so I think he hey, typecasts so like, that type of character. I feel like so, um, I got a perfect segue. Like you think. That's bad. Wait till Benedict Cumberbatch try to play something else other than Doctor Strange. He got another movie. That is gonna his be movie, gross. His movie coming out in January. Hey. Right? Is his movie coming out in January? No, nah, Jack movie comes out in May, bro. I'm talking, about the, I'm talking about the other movie he just did. He got another movie where he was like a thick dude. 
Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If he's not Doctor Strange, I'm not really know. checking for him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, wait till Ben the Cumberbatch playing something else, bro. It's going to be hard for people to swallow that pill. Especially because mm-hmm. this movie coming up in May, and I've been waiting. I can't wait. Let's see what the, it's a movie. What movie is it? Uh, is it the... By the way, I'm he, officially... by the way, he killed a lot Talk of movies. Fringe character. It's dope that people love Doctor Strange so much. He's in a movie called really... The Carrier. He's in a movie called The Carrier. Oh, okay. Never heard of it. People, love, fact, people no, actually no, like this movie. Nope, people, never heard of it. People actually yeah, like this we'll movie, though. So but is there magic know. in it? Strange got one job for me, and that's to get my boy Tom is in diabetic hell again. I, I, I'm officially on that bus from now until it oh, finishes. Lord. Tom and Zendaya, <laughs> that love will come back together again. Toby ain't gonna be the only one to get ready. Thanks to Andrew. Thanks to Andrew for saying Yo, can that. You, can you can have this question cry. about Doctor Strange, please? Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I would like to have a, a discussion about Doctor Strange. Um, oh Lord, here we go. Oh. He Let's sucks. Go. Like you, oh, the, you're the most suckiest universal universal uh, entity I've ever seen. You ruin everything. You suck. For somebody that can do in the so battle much, of Endgame you and you suck. was playing Waterbender while everybody yeah. else was fighting. You bend in the water <laughs> over here. You could have just sent the water over there and gotten a fight, but no, you over here. Messing with the water for 30 minutes. Yo, Wanda minutes. did a lot of work, Thanos. though. Wanda said... He went to, Peter Parker went to your domain that he's never seen before up. whatsoever. That's like somebody in Naruto just never seen a jutsu before. You just... you. This is Spider-Man went in there... Watch the film, people. That's all that, hey, 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 let me get my rocks up. It, yeah, he better I'm redeem himself in the second I'm a, I'm, I'm a He better redeem himself. This, 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 he better get my boy Tom and memories back. That's yo, what he better do. Yo, Joe, gotta let Joe get the geometry off. Joe gotta talk about the geometry. Yeah. Like, like, geometry beats calculus. First of all, he, he jacked the spell up, so you can't even keep a simple spell together. I blame Spider-Man a little bit. The, the spell that, that that was was Spider-Man. Spider-Man. That's Don't Spider-Man. Blame him for that. You should be a great enough sorcerer where you are be running around in, in 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 North Face jackets with your cape on the back of it. It was Columbia. And, 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 it was and, chilly. And it was you're cold. doing all this. You have these powers to do all this stuff. You can't just switch some stuff around real quick. No, that because your spell is broken. Now now everything is broken. And in a multiverse, everybody that every mm-hmm. old Peter Parker gets to in the multiverse. That's not a of, of a it. spell I that we do. Joe, you talking kind of? I agree with kind of that. What? You can't keep it together. He, no, in my if, opinion, if that would have been, if that would have uh-huh. been Doctor Strange from the comics, this would have never but happened. We even and they like that's what I'm saying. Doctor Strange, so Doctor much. Strange sucks. He's weak. He's weak. But but technically, Doctor Strange in the comics is a lot more dangerous than this Doctor Strange. Yes, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to comment should be able to win to, as a character. Like, sucks. if he would have went against hey, Thanos, he would have went to a domain and said, hey, give me your God power and I'll sacrifice 10 years off my life of my soul. And he would have won. He only got a part, <laughs> he only got part of a soul anyway. So, but, well, not, not in like you in the comic books. He would like, I'll sacrifice my soul for the powers to beat Thanos. And that's what Dr. Strange You ain't got enough. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We're going to definitely have to have some comic conversations. He we, just we showed, I'm that. just saying, in the MCU, he just shows up. He's, he's ill prepared, other than saying that no possibilities will ever work unless it's like this one. Unless you and, got it. And, and y'all got to figure that out because I'm about to disappear. Thanks. And then, <laughs> and, and then, and then it's like, oh, uh, he, he does some great things, but he also does some very, like, I'm going to go see yeah. the movie. Yeah. But like the multi, he's in charge of so he was much. A doctor and he first. Sucks. Like, he's in charge I'm of the multiverse. That, I'm hoping the, multiverse the next movie is what it in, is Joe. right now. Because of him, so I'm hoping, of the I'm stuff hoping he's the, running around doing with Spider Man. I'm hoping the next movie kind of fixed it because he was like, "They have to. You have to fix this, Jacob. If you know, <laughs> uh, uh, Morbius said, uh, uh, Morbius. I'm saying Morbius. I'm thinking about Morbius, but uh, he said, "Hey, yeah, Jared you Leto, the most da- Hey, Joe, uh, the movie, Morbius. the movie agree with you, Joe. He said, "Hey, you are the most dangerous thing to the multiverse. Absolutely. In, in the trailer, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. "You are the most dangerous thing to yeah. the multiverse." <laughs> 
Who gave you these powers? Everybody else that has these powers, they just sit back in the cut and watch the universe. An well, Asian man see. that got turned into a bald white woman in the comic in the movie gave him those powers. She didn't do, but but what is she doing? What does she do? What does she do? Nothing. Yo, Joe, Joe, who's the she, she dies. nothing? Joe. She dies. Joe, who the Hold number did die? Joe. Every <laughs> every according to old people, every millennial is Juan. Juan, like, don't call me. Oh, uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and to throw this out here, I'll let y'all discuss. Let me throw Wong might be related to Ned. That's where I'm at. Yeah, because like, bro, Ned hey, can, Ned's got that's a magic. possibility. Ned, he Ned said, did, did you not, just make a ring? Juan, Juan, Ned secretly Ned's dad. That's, that's, but do we think possible. that Ned? That leads into a good question. Do you guys think Ned goes hobgoblin? Do we keep Ned? close to the comic roots does he become the hobgoblin at some point with that if we're gonna roll a osborne in he trains because y'all say we can get we if y'all want osborne, flash venom we could get ned hobgoblin ned if you want flash thompson to be venom we could have ned as the hobgoblin uh tori yeah, ned is more like old boy from uh, miles morales world that's who ned is more like to me what's his name yeah the but, the but, but i was just saying, like yeah he's more like um the chair I forgot to get. We don't need. We don't need an Osborne. We just. They just. This movie just yeah, showed we us just, we don't need. We this. just got an Osborne. We just fucked Osborne up. We we got to move on. We got to. It's just going no to bigger and brighter things. Well, look, be, Ned can be the. He can look, be the next they, big they just, bad, yo. They just explained everything, and 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 Tobey Maguire Spider Man. There's no other superheroes. Oh, What's an um, Avenger? If, if there's no such thing Andrew as a Garfield, Peter Parker, just stupid stuff happens in labs. People keep yeah. falling and <laughs> they become heroes. So, and then it's Spider Man, it's just more heroes. Do you really need an Osborne? You don't need them. No. Yep. Not an no. MCU. Yep. No. If you got a hero, you need a villain. Yeah. If they you can't have one with the other. If they doing funny. secret, if they doing it's secret like Avengers. Fun. If, they if they're doing phone, Secret Invasion, they do need an Osborne. Well, I say Secret Avengers because they need Osborne uh, <laughs> to become what's name. But they could use but, Evil yeah. Reed Richards to do that, but I don't know. But if they go Secret the maker, Invasion, oh, they can, yeah, yeah, the Maker. They could totally yeah. put the Maker in there. Especially with Multiverse. We need a Red Goblin, bro. Take, take, uh, take the green. I don't think we'll get to Red Goblin in the MCU. That would be that would be hard, but that's I want to see the Illuminati in the MCU. Give me Red Goblin. I think the Illuminati is Roma to show up in uh the Doctor Strange movie, so I'm interested in that. That'll be cool. Hey, what but who do you have replaced T'Challa? Or do you, you have what do you what do you do about T'Challa? They can use Namor. They can use Namor and Namor in it anyway, but that, Namor ain't been yeah. debuted. Well, I was about to say. And by the way, you, you see, see Gargantos. So if you see Gargantos, you might see Namor. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's right, all I, Namor just, I don't want to see. What you if, say, Jack? If we get Namor, I want him to be problematic. I don't want to see Neymar be the one who comes in and like wrecks Wakanda. If somebody's strong enough to do that, I want it to be like, like somebody Namor who's gonna build enough. up to be our. I, I know, but somebody who's like, but he's not Doctor Doom, bro. I'm trying to mention Doctor Doom, bro. If they was, if they was to bring Doctor Doom in, he could That's work up to be like that. our next like Thanos or something. He could. Have y'all read the that comics God where he like, like God be King Doom, like, yeah. like he could just rip Thanos's. Oh, oh I bro. seen that guy King. Yeah, that yeah. would be Jacob, oh, you we, know what's name is anymore? Diamond Man, the Beast, and the White Cloak is high fashion. So you I know, mean, Kevin Feige said he want to do Secret Wars before he done, right? Uh bro. If he yeah, that's that, what I'm thinking. They're trying really to go hope, to with all these different factions, bro. I'm thinking they're trying to do Secret Wars. Yeah, I, I really hope Doctor Doom. I, I think Secret Invasion would be soon. easier than Secret Jacob, Wars. There is a story where Doctor Doom helped Namor defeat Wakanda. I know, I know, so, I know, so, but I like it better when like Doctor Doom does it himself. When he goes to get all the vibranium by himself, yeah. he goes in there. He he basically With flexes Doombox. everybody. <laughs> no, he goes in there, flexes everybody. He goes through the whole like. There's like a course you have to go through to become the Black Panther to prove you're good enough. You're the best of them, and Doctor Doom comes in and shits on it. Like does better than anybody else in history, and then basically I don't know how that's gonna go over himself. in movie form. In movie form, if they do it right, they have to oh, find. I don't know. They, they got to cast dope. the right person. Yeah, they got to find a dope. They got to cast it. the right person. But like, I don't for know. Though, I'd love I'm to see Doctor Doom come in and mess somebody I up. I'd love to I see him be like the next like 
Thanos level threat. The Black just, Panther? You want to see Doctor Doom be the next Black Panther? <laughs> no, I want to see Doctor Doom be the next Thanos just... <laughs> level threat. Yeah, I didn't say be the next Black no. Panther. Because that's what be we the next with, Thanos, with Thanos level, level threat. threats right now. You got to go that's big. What, you got to go big. You got to you every time. Thanos. Oh, there's exactly. plenty. So everybody's got to be like there's, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of bigger threats than Doctor Doom. You could go to though, really. Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom, Doom, easy, Doctor Doom has been the top to. of the top. Yeah, Doctor, Doctor Doom, Doom is like literally been easy, God over easy everybody. Easier to get to film wise without doing a whole bunch. There's a lot. You want to have to do a whole bunch just like it took for us to get the You got to do a whole bunch regardless. And with Doctor Doom, with him bringing different stuff together, you feel me? They could do Doctor Doom. They could do hey, Dr. Doom. So we got, so we got, we got, they could, we, but I don't think he needs to be like a final level four. three. If we could do him for Fantastic Four and be done with it. No, I don't think Honestly, he, no, he needs to be more than that. Like when they, I think that's what something. messed that move is up. I think he got to be listen, more Listen, Dr. Doom is cold enough to get his own origin story. Like his mom being trapped in hell and going there every year you to, got to Wanda. fight for her and stuff. Like, Wanda's yeah, a Wanda's problem. Called. Wanda's going to be You got Wanda, so you can do Dr. Doom story. You have. You really could. You have the witches. They introduced witches in there. So you can 100 And his do mom it. was a witch, yes. so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that be that's that's a nice that's well, a nice. That, if you go I like that route, that. Like that. That. That that. they instead already like set it up. Instead of introducing the Fantastic Four in like a whole origin movie, maybe give like a Doctor Doom origin movie, and then when he goes to college around the end, there's Reed over there in the corner. He's like. Oh, this bitch! Like you uh, just or establish they, they probably, animosity. Might I, go, I, sh- I feel like Doctor Doom would be a better show than a movie. I feel like it'd come off real good cool. as a Marvel series. I can, I can dig if that. If they found I the right person, Eternals, to be Doctor I Doom. wish the Eternals was a show it's instead like of a movie. Uh, I'm like, with you. Yeah, Eternals could definitely if be a show. Cody and Murphy or well, somebody we like that could song. play Doctor Doom. Yeah, I wish Eternals was a show because you could have spent more time on certain characters that we could. I wish the Inhumans would have picked up. Oh my god, that show was terrible, Tor. <laughs> that show was garbage. It was bad. That show, that show was garbage. Oh, I love the Inhumans in the comics. Yeah, the Inhumans would be dope. Point. Illuminati. Not too late. Black Bolt, bro, Black Bolt alone. Black Come Bolt on, Illuminati. Now. So that could happen. By the way, they exactly. opened up so much. From this multiversal stuff, they have opened up so much. You got so many possible villains. By the way, Eternals, if it did nothing else for you, it showed you they can do a it, gigantic character. That can work yeah. so good. It showed Galactus it can actually good. work and not like that Fantastic Four. Yeah. Nah, no, that no, was no, bro. Not a big nah, cloud. No, 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 no. Did Galactus you see the does not work. Did you see the they Celestial? They can't fight work. Galactus. That worked. The they Celestial didn't fight worked. the Celestial. He just held them in the palm of his hand and took them away. They can't fight him. That's they, the point. They got They time. can't fight Galactus. They can, they can make okay. it work. So no. do it, do it kind of like this. Do it kind of like this. Instead of just one hero, like, like the Silver Surfer, he could be with them, but he can have other ones, and they fight the Heralds of Galactus. I mean, I, I yeah. like that, but they still the can't way, fight Galactus. By the like, way, ain't nobody throwing hands yeah. at Galactus. But, but they, don't really, they don't really they don't fight, fight him, him in the yeah. comics. Yeah. They, they, they Reed, Reed mess up comes with him with the they mess Reed with the with 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 nullifier, machine. like, yeah. bro, back up, or I'm going to press this button. And it's over with for yeah. you. So and see, I like it, but that ain't gonna sell no movie. If it's just like I got this machine that's gonna take out Galactus. Nah, I need hands. I need hands. Tell you Nobody. That's why. Hands to Galactus. Hey. That's what the. That's what the. the uh, are talking for. That's what the heralds be for. Bro, the heralds Peter for. Parker and um Willem to Tavo- Willem Dafoe at the end, bro. That was a fight oh scene. Spider Man is putting the yeah. on him. Yo, can we? Oh. By the way, talk I about bring a this fight. Up. I want to bring this up. Stunt. Uh, I was like, oh. William Defoe is an S tier wrestler. Cause that power driver he put on Spider Man. Yeah, he, he, he smashed him through the yeah. He put the it Batista bomb on this man with his knees on his thing. See him. Boom. I said, oh, spine buster. I'm like, William Defoe that he did all of these himself. Yeah, he done 66 yards on spine he came, buster. He, like Triple H. he came with it. Yeah. But that fight was lit. It really was. That was one of the best fights I've ever seen. What I'm saying, though, I when I said that's yeah, all I, I get it. I was just like, nigga, I ain't seen no wrestler in there. Oh, I know, I know a scene where a wrestling move got put on somebody. He put this fine what the wrestler you talking about? Well, yeah, Defoe, we, SJ I, wrestling, all that's fine. Bust with Triple this H. Movie, this movie, this like He talked about how he wanted to do most of his stunts too. So if he was out there really giving boys the power bomb, shout out to him for being that old and still taking bumps. Check what you were saying, but he not was, like he me was taking bumps, ass. taking wrestling bumps. There we go. He was kicking their ass. What you were saying, Jacob? I'm about? sorry. 
Uh, he had to go. Like Goblin would have. He'd have died that day. I'm sorry. Oh, Ain't no he way. Had to. He, he'd have gone. Like I'm you sorry. Kill that, Toby would have stopped me. Toby yeah. would have stopped me. I'm like Toby. Yeah. I love you. Either you getting hit with this or he is. Go on, get yeah. up out my way. Somebody he got to go. Slider. By the way, he got to go. By the way, Tom anger can be used for venom too. So that's dope. It really could. Cause it he, really he got technically did. didn't yeah. stop being angry. He just got stopped. He was no, like, I'm gonna leave you alone. But now, if I see yeah. you again, dog. <laughs> But I hope Toby not here, dog. Toby ain't here now. <laughs> ain't no Toby to say you now. I wish the police <laughs> would take that kind of restraint. Oh, here, we, let's go. When it, comes to ment- when it comes to mental health, because the man clearly was not right. Like <laughs> Willem Dafoe was not right. Like he, yeah, that was a good. Nah. That was pretty good. Not, not Joker. Too. Hey, but not all the Joker. callbacks that were in that to the old here. movies that like, was fire. Like, Willem Dafoe had like a default. Joker just insane. Itself. Like you can't put him a serum and it worked. He just right, yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, right. He trying you to could try to well, shoot the serum into him and the serum this won't work. Out, um, pretty well. I, I, I definitely enjoyed that part of it. Um, <laughs> and I was saying the point that you made well. earlier that that um, like none of these stars really just clashed like that, man. Like you got Jamie Foxx mm-hmm. and he kind of felt like he played a minimal it role. Was, it was hey, dope. He it's like he wanted to stay in the MCU. It's like, hey, um, <laughs> give me another shot, and I'm good, and I'm really good. He's like, I'm not gonna lie. stupid anymore. Uh, <laughs> I was saying earlier, this is the first fan service movie that does a good job with fan okay, service. Okay, a lot of times, service. when movies good try to get it wasn't fan service, overdone. they fail. But this is the first one that like gives it to you, and their story with it. Now, I'm not gonna lie. There's faults in the story. It doesn't have the best story, but Neither did Endgame. Endgame was the answer to a story. To me, this is the answer to our story. So that's, I feel like that's why it's so accepted. And that's why it's so, like, the story's real fluid throughout. You don't really get caught I mean, up in they anything. They had moments. They had moments that, that, that got me right here a little bit. I ain't talking about these oh, fights. Man. When Andrew Garfield yeah, caught them, when Andrew when Garfield was like, called are you okay? She was like, oh, yeah. Whoa. So late. Yes. Redemption. You got, me. you got me. By the way, yeah. uh, I want to ask y'all. It's literally true. You know what's gonna happen too. By the way, you knew it. Bro, like... The whole movie was spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> I want yeah, the whole movie know, been spoiled. The whole movie been on the internet for a year. Oh yeah, and Twitter, I popped Twitter ruined anyway. everything. But... And everybody been guessing everything. Been right. Everybody's already. Known I was about to say on. a lot of the theories were spot on. It was spot on. We knew exactly. And it was oh, I bet, still hype. I bet Tom Holland doesn't catch her. I bet Andrew catches her, and look what happened. I would. I would actually go on record and say I believe that Marvel released that it was going to be three Spider-Man in this on purpose. And they said it was a rumor. I believe so, they released it on purpose. Hey, marketing, they bro. They did. Because they I, built up their own hype. I, I think they did on purpose. I don't know if it was Marvel, if it might was Sony, because Sony would do something like that. Sony is like to spoil <laughs> Sony, <laughs> Sony is the one company that I promise you will spoil every movie they put up. In a trailer. Spoil their video games, too. <laughs> they the only ones that come out with five-minute trailers. Uh, Sony. All the time. Sony was for the entire right. movie the trailer, bro. Important scene. Just go through, just look at every Sony trailer. Marvel said they had to fight for them not to show Andrew Garfield and told me like, "Yo, listen, in the you movie, it's gonna go crazy." <laughs> if you just don't let it be, if you don't spoil it, it's because you crazy. when you watch a when you watch a trailer for a Sony movie, like the whole thing plays out. You like, is 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 it done? Oh, it's oh, it's <laughs> gonna keep going. Yeah. Damn, it's showing the whole story. Oh, okay. I don't even have to go to the movie now. Hey, what you think tomorrow the Matrix is going to come out? Uh, uh, drop top. Oh, before the, the movie uh, comes out. <laughs> the Matrix does yeah, come out. Yeah, and that must It comes oh, out shit. tomorrow. What y'all, I don't know what y'all think? Movie. I don't know. I don't know. It was, Are y'all it was, I don't know what it. they do. It no, I'm not going to lie. I have to because like... I'm not going to so, pay to see it, but I'm going to watch it. So I have to because when I was little, I liked the OG Matrix movies, but... Since I was little, I if I did go to the movies, I don't remember. This is my first Matrix movie I can go experience at the big screen for should. myself. Like, so I feel like I should go, I should go participate in that. You should. I'm cool. I just don't know where, where they're gonna go. Like, are you in the Matrix? Are you not in the Matrix? Is this a, uh, is this something putting you back in? Did you ever leave? If, I am I nervous don't though. No, I th- am nervous though. I think about I just hope it's not horrible. My thing about it. this movie is it, it was hype. It, it started slowly building up. It was finally getting back. 
Because people didn't care. And then Spider-Man came out and it like died. Yeah, just sort of stole yeah. away the shine for a second. But what was yeah. it? What's the what was the third Matrix called? There revolutions. Was revolutions. Matrix. Matrix. So, okay, that's the Matrix Revolutions. But see, because and they about, did the Animatrix. So you think about is, you think about the oh, Matrix universe, and I I, I, I will get back to Spider Man real quick. But we'll get back to him. I, I definitely want to hear everybody's thoughts on where do y'all think we're going in a sense based off of the ending scene and all that stuff. I definitely want to hear that. But and I know we kind of gave some up. But listen. In the first Matrix, he realizes he manipulates the Matrix, right? That's what we find out mm -hmm. at the end. The second, he does some more dope stuff, but Mr. Smith learns some stuff, and he's like, oh, I can do this, too, if I believe that I'm not really a program. Yeah. And then, you know, you get the third one, boom, like, he's the he's the, he's the the savior, but, like, if he's I don't if I recall right, they, he was dead on the outside or something, and then he did something. Well, he's like, they were like a virus towards each other, and they kind of eliminated each other but the system reboots remember the scenes with like the dude with all oh, the he came back the sun came back up. so like you always gotta put the literal reset but that's why i'm going to see it i want answers i want to know like what are we doing here what is this movie about it's like, who if you're the one and you're the strongest that's that goes back into my whole dragon ball super and all that stuff like if you've reached the pinnacle of power what what else is there to do and that's what this Matrix is trying to show us because it's like, what else is there to do if you are the penultimate character? Is That's this just I'm riding saying. off of pure John Wick hype, though? Can we tell like, the truth? We... To Tor point, that is not even Neo. That's John Wick. That's John Wick. That's John Wick in that All movie. black, one gun, man. That's John Wick. I was just wondering if that's how we felt about it. Because that's like, what I, that was my first thought when I saw it. I was like, they, they, they making this John Wick hype work. Keanu's hot again. Let's get another cult banger out yeah. there. Bro, Keanu, they like, hey, can you cut your hair to be Neo? He's like, no. <laughs> He's like, you got to leave it long, son. <laughs> no, I got John Wick this. 17 coming up. You haven't noticed all the old school Keanu movies coming back? The Bill and Ted came back after the John Wick movies. Like, the John Wick movies are like feeding his it's old he's franchises, and basically. Keanu it's Reeves is aging backwards, so he's going to He's get just more a vampire. He's starting, that va he's starting that Dracula movie. How old is Keanu Reeves? Ain't he like 60? He is no, 200 bro, years like, old. He's close he to is 50 200 years old. Don't let them lie. He is 200 years old. You can look up he's old 54. pictures from he's the 1800s. He's 54. Cat. See, I knew he was in his he, he had to be in his 50s, bro. Yo, Keanu Reeves, I'm like, bro, how do you keep looking younger? Do they want to put you in video games like Cyberpunk? <laughs> bro. And he hey, came a long way. John he came Rick a long way from, yeah. from being the, whoa. Kind of guy. He can't Whoa, away bro. From Whoa. He can't. He, bro. I give Keanu Reeves that, bro. He can. He's got a range when it comes to acting. That yeah, guy. He's done. It. He's does done it all. Does he? Does he? Yeah. Lake House, Joe. The the Lake House, he, Joe. Young, he did like the, the mailbox. The mailbox. The Lake the House, mailbox. You put it in the mailbox and it go back. And come on now. Constantine he, and Neo in. John that's American 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 but not mm -hmm. every movie does it. So does, is that gonna? That's the same question I got about the Avatar. When it was three D, I think they gonna... It was like it was special because it was different. Does, it was the was two work. Now it's gonna sell, but does it really work? Do you want to see another well, one after the next? So that's my. Question, I think man. the action part is like really important in the Matrix, but the action isn't the focus in the Matrix. It's like the sci-fi element and the story building. And it's like, a story for me. Yeah, it's like. But we got so other we movies I feel like do that better, but we can brainwash. Like we got like I um, think Ready Player One was good with that in a way. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Ready Player One was That's like today's movie. Yeah. Ready Player Two coming out. It really capitalized like it. on nostalgia just like the Matrix is right now, sort of doing. Only it did it in a way more literal way. Yeah. The yeah. Like, this is the way LeBron James Space Jam two tried to and we didn't care. That was garbage. Bro, hey, <laughs> but the Young Bucks, the Young Bucks hit a Melcher driver under the basketball goal wearing Space Jam jerseys, so. 
That was disrespectful to Don Cheadle's career. Yo, they put that man in this movie. I'm like, man, go back and go get ready for Iron Wars, bro. Man, go put your. <laughs> you don't go put your. You better go put your war machine suit on before Frank Castle comes and steals it. Don't. But we yeah. got. But, but but so to Joe point, we got we getting back to Spider Man. We got a lot of stuff coming up. We know we got like Doctor Strange. We saw the trailer at the second mm-hmm. post credit. The multiverse uh, of madness. We got Love War Thunder. Oh. When we get introduced to Go- Love uh, and Gordon Thunder, the God Butcher, which is again, you can know maybe down so the road in the summer. Oh my Black God! The, 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 the little uh, the little drop can find Gordon. No, yeah. that's too far. He's in the he's in space and shit, but. But but the, the, you get the blade though. You get the blade. Yeah, the blade is supposed to be an original the all, symbiote. The, the, the all black oh, necklace blade. blade. Yeah. So you oh, got that with Gore. Oh, and we're supposed to see Zeus. So they're about to introduce Zeus. Yep. Russell Crowe. So we, we got a lot of characters being introduced. Choice. We still choice, got, choice, choice. We yes. still got Kang running around. We got the Zeus. Uh-huh. Uh, please, Marvel. Yeah, we please. got a lot. We got a lot right now. <laughs> Marvel, please just put uh, it aren't in. Aren't they supposed to, isn't Moon Knight coming too at some point? Moon Knight Didn't is coming. Say, Moon Knight is coming. Like, a little teaser. Moon Knight coming soon. Gotta it's be gonna be, gonna be hard. hard. If Moon Knight's not art rated, it's not gonna be hard. They can't pull, pull no PG-13 so. with Moon Knight. Uh, at least give us some like Kevin Frank Feige, Castle in there. Kevin Feige is trying to, and trying to argue with Disney to make Moon Knight and the Punisher rated R, but we don't know if they're gonna let it happen. So they gotta do it, man. Marvel trying to fight with Disney because you know what Disney is about. So they trying to fight with. Them. Is there yeah, anything else? On play. Is, does Disney Plus have anything that's like TV MA on there? Because that's what it would be rated if it's on Disney Plus. Like, uh, is the Simpsons TV MA? I don't know. I, I, I don't, TV fourteen. I don't think they. Honestly, I don't think they probably do. I don't think there's yeah, anything higher than PG thirteen. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm hearing Marvel, Kevin Feige, like, wait, we want the Punisher back. You know, the Punisher getting a reboot in the comic. Yeah. So I know they try, and I know he said he wants some back. properties. Got to be all right. Um, we know we got She Hulk, which Give is Daredevil. Daredevil will be back in She Hulk. Daredevil will be in She Hulk. Yellow uh, suit. Daredevil will be in Echo because he has to be in Echo. Because if you know the story, uh-huh. he has to be in Echo. It yeah. has to be. Um, got to. So we have Echo, Miss Marvel. That's coming up. We know Fantastic Four is coming. We know we got Wakanda Forever. Um, they said they're gonna announce something at the end of the year. It keep getting delayed. Do man. we really have? And then you see, kind of you see, his brother Do came we? out and finally said that we should recast them. Yeah, so they have recast them. Them. I mean, I think yeah, you gotta right do now. it. You have to. No. You can't just let the character die. That's that's disrespectful oh, no. to the character. You just let it die. Don't recast that character. Even his you brother said to. do it. You Even his recast. brother said do it. Don't, don't do it. His hey, brother, don't listen him. to a hashtag. Don't listen to a hashtag. Dude. Yo, Sherry. Bro, he wouldn't want. He yeah, wouldn't want please. the character. That's, that's I wish if Sherry would act right, he could go by comic yeah, book and right. Sherry would be the. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, yeah, she's like you could do Sherry, it's just you would have to advance her a little more. But Sherry is legitimately a black man. Yeah, she's a legit black man. Um, he does have a son with Storm that can be a successor, but I don't know how you're gonna. Do it that fast, cause oh, how you get the mutants in? You can't get the mutants in. Yeah, um, it is a rumor that Storm will show up in that. Supposed to show up in that movie, so we don't know. That would be exciting. Well, then I would yeah, get an uh, A birth of a new son. I will take it. But they're gonna have to age the heck out of everybody like twenty they years. Really, so they they will, yeah, you gonna need a time skip. You gonna need anime style. So how's that gonna These tie gonna age like two years, not twenty? Like hold up. <laughs> Tom Howard's gonna have to be sixty. So um, get he's got he's got his Rogers <laughs> moment. Well, he's gonna we have, have a Miles. Steve Rogers Joe, moment, and that's when Joe. he'll that's when he'll get MJ. Joe, Miles Morales, he'll have his Steve Rogers Miles moment. Morales get to go back is in MCU. Yes, Who is? is? I'm sorry. Chad Gambino, yep. Bruce Miles Wayne, uncle. Miles Morales' uncle. The Prowler. He's a villain. Yes, and he's yeah. he's Miles he's Morales. Uncle. He's Miles Morales' uncle. uncle, so that means Miles is in the MCU. So we're gonna get Black Spider Man. Like Jamie Fox Fox wanted. Like Jamie Fox wanted. I just thought you knew. He was he was campaigning hard. Shout out to him. That was a good moment. That made me laugh. (laughs) That that was a good that was a good icebreaker in the movie. It was real tense, and then they were like, "Here, yeah, he was like, it's a black Spider Man somewhere." I'm really glad they let Jamie be Jamie. They let most of them be themselves. Yeah, he wasn't bull. Let's go. Um, they also hinted wasn't that weird thing. They also hinted at um Doc Ock being a good guy, which could lead to um we know Superior Spider Man running. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so we can get that someday. So that's dope. Especially if they do a Tobey Maguire four and I don't know move or something. I don't I'd know rather see a, another that. Andrew. I'd rather see another Andrew. I feel like Toby would you can... really? Yeah, um, I'd rather see because Andrew that, redeemed himself did, in this movie. Yeah, Andrew. Said Andrew, that. bro. I think he got yeah, his redemption Andrew, moment, and he should it. step away. He should step away now. You got your redemption. T- Taurus and Mark. Days, man. But Can't you hate Peter Parker, so. Yo, Taurus. Yeah, that's true. Yo, Taurus. But, I'm <laughs> saying out of all the Peter Parkers that I hate, I dislike him the most. So. <laughs> you know. Yo, Taurus. So basically what Taurus saying is Sony Marvel is not going to help you with that one, so stay away from it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Andrew Garfield burn the bro. Tom Holland is Spider Man for the foreseeable future, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, he got three more movies they're trying to sign him for, bro. It's all with. Uh, I think they said I they got six. Signed. I think they said he got six movies coming up, and then he's I done. I want to see him in a like Robert another Downey Avengers thing number. too. Yeah, he got well, one yeah, more guarantee. They're trying that... to sign him for three more, but he ain't did nothing yet. I don't believe. Kim Feige said they work on number four, so him and Amy yeah. Pascal was sitting next to each other, and that's the. On CEO of Sony, so yeah. And by the way, uh, uh she always like I said, hang around Kevin Feige. You know why? Because uh, like you saved my job because I was rumored to be fired. Exactly. <laughs> uh, y'all remember that story? Not Amy now. Pascal was literally rumored to be fired soon. And oh, then yeah. Kevin Feige, like I got you. <laughs> so he smacked him. I don't know if he doing all that. Allegedly. But look, look, a couple times throughout the week. That. That, that, the end of Spider Man pretty much set it up and this is a beautiful thing where sony can make one-off spider-man movies that have nothing to do with mcu and just make okay. sony spider-man movies and then disney comes calling i need you for one of these they they can still because he can have a standalone story now yeah. he could he's not, he could like he's drop in Peter throughout Parker. the marvel he, universe but, but let's, is let's, that what the people want though let's confirm maybe this. let's confirm this Sony absolutely has to deal with Marvel. So, some re- somehow to. Sony video games have all these mo- exclusive video games to Disney characters. <laughs> they got the new Wolverine game coming Big out. Market. They got like a X Men game that's exclusive to Sony. They made a deal somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you remember back when um, Tom Holland had to make that phone call. Actually, rumored to so actually, rumor to not doing any more deals, and then all of a sudden, Tom Holland made a call and the deal went through. That was this deal. Hey, I'll let you make some more video games with Disney properties. You give us Tom Holland for a few more movies. All right, bitch. That <laughs> works for, work for me. So, Sony, by the way, well, please do don't depend on Tom Holland forever. Because I know you got him in Uncharted. I'm like, if every video game Sony do, Tom Holland going to be the main character. <laughs> and they had old boy. It sounds like it. Um, <laughs> Uncharted is a Sony game. <laughs> so they like, hey, Basically. it is. I wonder what I'm just happy. Like. I'm happy that Tom Holland can be as flexible. Um, this Spider Man can has the flexibility. He doesn't have to stay in one space. How, how old is Tom he Holland? Because he can't have a one off movie. He's where like he just twenty. Early twenty, right? 20, 20, 20, 20 like twenty some twenty four. Tom Holland, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Tom Holland is he was born in ninety six, so he's twenty five. He said he yep. really don't want to do Spider Man. Pa- yeah, he said he don't want to do Spider Man past thirty. So. He's just trying to get a bigger check. That's all that is. That's <laughs> negotiating in public. That's all that is. And by the way, I think well, I mean, lucky, they, they, they might, might draw most of his movies within the next five years if he's lucky. They might draw his movies in the next five years. Five, six years, I think he might be done. Um, be- Yeah, before we get off, um, what y'all think? We talked about Spider-Man Future. What y'all think? Is, I was going over it. What y'all think? Because we know we're probably going to have one Avengers team, the Young Avengers in some way. Yolanda is, by the way, one of the best characters in Marvel. This is Ken. Yes. In one of the worst movies. <laughs> she's like hey, she's yeah, no a matter. star in that movie. And hey. Hawkeye, she was amazing. <laughs> yes, she is. Hey, that's yes, my third is. wife. Don't that's they my have Riri Wilson that's coming into wife. the MCU, too? Who? Riri Wilson. She's the one that plays. She's the black yeah, she's Captain America. In. I was going to say, she's supposed to be coming in the MCU, so. Um. I think it. Blue Marvel is probably oh, going to be in the Marvel. How did you guys feel about the Statue of Liberty? It was just... With the Captain America shield. They always got a Spider Man got to fight on the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, I don't know is, it, is. is it like the shield controversial right now because of John Walker? Like, why would they even put that up if somebody just got like, fucked up? With I, was, it? I was wondering. Like, it yeah. was. It was a but, I mean, at the end, Sam Wilson did get it. So, I mean. You know, it depends on what time they did these movies. I think, I think this movie was after that, so I don't. 
I was gonna yeah. say I'm pretty sure it was after. It's probably far. Yeah, it's, it's after. Cause I know um, Far From Home was was after Loki it's supposed to be. So, cause it was yeah. like I was gonna ask you guys about that. Do you guys think like the last episode of Loki, Wild Division, and the other stuff kind of happened around the same time? Cause like I think it all might. The Loki versus it all happened at the same time. Yeah, so, it feels that way. I think the sky, I the think whole it purple. Did. I think you're gonna get introduced to a bunch of the Kane characters, which I think would be cool. Like they'll just randomly show up during different things. Yeah, so, he's a good actor, so I'm I'm I want to see more of him. I has, think it'll be a lot clearer after Doctor Strange how full on they're gonna go with this multiverse. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, um, they're introducing America Chavez, which is it. very interesting. I'm like, that's a weird choice, but it makes sense for a multiverse of madness movie. Since her power yeah. is literally to like kick through universes with the star. <laughs> that's how that's her power. She yeah, so it makes universes. Sense. So yeah. Um, Built in plot device. Let's go. I saw <laughs> people uh were like, you know, trying to stake out this Spider Man movie. And then like the moment where everything was breaking apart, people was like, Oh, you can clearly see Craven the Hunter right there. I'm like, I want Craven Bro, the Hunter. He got a I movie coming Craven out with Sony, Hunter, so, so he has a Sony movie. I want Craven hey, and the Hunter. If you're getting Morbius, you're getting Craven. Craven. You know how dope it would Channel be to have King a, King a, King. a Craven the Hunter movie that's just the most dangerous game, but in New York City and he's hunting Spider-Man? Craven. Oh, bruh. Because Kingpin works with Craven. I'll take it. Like, come on. Get that's what you got to bring to pain. And he can have like yeah. a uh, Sandman. He can have a Sandman kind of origin within the movie. It's so like a quick one. You know how Sandman became a Sandman and Spider Man. Hey, like it was it was like Sandman and the one. Lizard got no love in this movie. They were he, they were they were side notes. <laughs> Sandman, hey, I mean Lizard, Kirk stay in the, get a of stay funny in the moments, back of the yeah. truck. He did a couple of funny moments. Yeah. What's the? It's another character that travels and like hunts spider people. I think Morbius. Uh, there's a cup. There was like a He's part the of inheritors. Society. I think yeah, is what they call that. Might, the I'm, inheritors. That would be cool to add to um, um, the MCU Spider Man side. Not Morbius. I was tripping. I'm, I'm forgetting his name. I just watched the comics explain video about it too. I saw it because it happens about Spider Man. That might be the next movie. Is is the Spider Man and 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 Morbius? Is more Spider Man. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you, do you think we'll ever get Spider-Man Miles in the MCU? Video? It's confusing because he, he references Venom a lot, and I'm like, he references Venom, but he also knows yeah. the guy that plays um, Vulture. Vulture. He's in the movie too. Oh, Vulture. Michael Keaton. Yeah, Michael Batman. Keaton plays Vulture. <laughs> so Michael Keaton plays Vulture, and it, but at the same time he mentions Venom. So I'm like, is he's a is he another version? Or is he the one from MCU? Or is he? We're gonna have to see. We, that's a, if, they they put the they made the trailers confusing like that to make you go see to get your get your answer. But Sony Sony kind of does it, but Marvel does. Marvel will have a line. Marvel's well, good with it. Marvel did, he said that line like, "Don't do that spell." wasn't even in the movie. <laughs> yeah. They had the or like Hulk. the Hulk in Infinity War. Yeah, Hulk fighting Thanos. Hulk wasn't yeah. in that movie at all. Hulk got beat up and um, World Breaker Hulk is rumored to come out soon. Uh, well, not soon, but in a few years. So. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm worried about that. Thing, I'm kind of worried about work. that. I'm not gonna lie, because like we've we've already passed a lot Hulk. of Bruce Banner's story, and in the comics they just printed a World War Hulk, but it was She Hulk. So I'm be <laughs> upset if the if the movies and MCU do us dirty, and it's She Hulk, World War Hulk instead of Bruce hmm. Banner. That's gonna be upset. But She Hulk coming right. out soon, so we can see if they do it right. So we'll see if, how they. I like. She's a good character, like story wise. I. I'm, I'm excited to see her. Just she be getting her freak on. Good for her. She owns her promiscuity. Yeah, right, right. Let's go. But I just I want to see Century and Hulk like oh, beat the yes. shit out of each other and wreck the world. And oh man, Superman I... wants to be um Century or Captain Britain. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about him being either one of those characters. By the way, when I say Superman, y'all know who I mean, right? The actor that plays Superman. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Which no, one? Yeah, Are you talking about Henry Cavill? Yeah, Henry Cavill wants to be the center of Captain Britain. I see more Captain Britain. I don't know. Isn't he the Witcher right now? 
He's yeah, I would be excited if he's cap. I would be excited if he's Captain Britain. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know, though, like, no, like, it's Sentry. Like, I don't know, it's Sentry, though. That, mm. I can't Maybe see him as Sentry. Hurst. Have you guys seen how Ryan Hurst has been campaigning to play Sentry? Do you know who that is? He's from the I Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, is, Sons of but Anarchy. You be, I, I Sons of Anarchy played Opie. Mm. Oh, oh, he, was in, he was in Remember the Titans. Yeah, he was the left side, strong side guy in Remember the Titans. Yeah, and he wants to be Century. He wants to be, bro. If you see him now, I can't see him in Century, man. That one. By the way, Adam Warlock now, he has been cast, and people were pissed until they saw him. How he looked now? So exactly, you got to see how the people look after they cast. Yeah, I mean, the, it's I a reason Marvel from, chooses these people. I mean, it could be cool. What has Marvel yeah, chose? Was big though. Marvel was pulled a pull a lot like, like unknown people to do stuff, and I liked it. Yeah, they do. They Mar do. Marvel is really good at picking characters that you just see as typecast as them characters for real. <laughs> oh, that's who you are from now. They, but they do have a way. <laughs> so I don't know how you go from the goofy guy hanging out with um Jennifer Aniston to Adam Warlock, but he looked like it. <laughs> he made it. Globe was real. He looked like I'm like, that oh, you true. really do look like Adam Warlock now. I don't know. Who... Marvel <laughs> will put you on that protein <laughs> and say, get out here, you for time to work. You got some juice. Reconstructive surgery inbound. Yeah, That's we... how they really but, make it work. But, but Marvel, according to Marvel, by 2023, they're supposed to be doing like two shows at a time. And I'm like, I hope. Somehow they keep us interested. I hope they don't burn us out. That is going to be burned out. That is a good question. How far do you think the MCU is going to go? I think they got two sides they're going to try to focus on. One is like a universal side and one is like the Daredevil, Hawkeye, the Young, Avengers side. Yeah, Young Avengers side, and then they're going to do one with Universal Marvels and Blue Marvel supposed to be coming in, which will be lit. Blue so Marvel will be lit. Right ride it till the wheels fall Ooh, off. Blue Marvel. Blue like, Marvel will they be lit. already introduced his wife. So, <laughs> we have to tell our children, be like, children, yeah. I remember when this all started with one Iron Man movie, man. One our Iron children, we all doing podcasts. Hey, I thought it was one Hulk movie. Hulk is in a we'll Hulk talk about universal. It all started with Iron Man one. <laughs> Hulk universal. They don't count. Hulk was universal. So they don't count. We'll yeah. talk about the Hulk movie. To you. It's all about Iron Man. Well, the Edward Norton movie, Hulk movie, did uh, have Robert Downey Jr. in the credit scene, so. I mean, yeah, it technically it is it canon, but only Hulk I like, like is Lou Ferrigno Hulk. But Joe, that did come out after the Iron Man movie, yeah. so technically it's still Iron Man. So yeah, okay, okay. After. Yeah. okay. That's why Tony Stark appeared. He had to be introduced first. Yo, hmm. it's crazy because that's, that's that pro right here, man. Yo, I'm telling you, when it comes you, to comics. If you watch Iron Man and you like, this movie is gonna cause the craziest moments in my movie life. Yeah, you would be like, no way. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, talk about a domino. I mean, it, it it was exciting when people first saw it. I didn't know it was gonna grow into this. Yeah. I didn't know it ever. Blade be started the MCU. Blade not... saved money for the MCU. Yeah, Blade he saved was like our parents in our college. You wouldn't have, the they MCU, wouldn't have made okay? it there without him, man. He, like he I came said, with the listen, the integral Blade is revenue. the MCU's dad. Well, Blade is the MCU's well, dad, and Kevin Feige's the mom. Okay. Well, technically, let... I, I can I can agree with that. <laughs> Okay, let's go Kevin with Feige, that. Kevin Feige made it, but Wesley Snipes brought in the money. So I'm, I'm. So, so we can. Wesley like Snipes should be Blade again. Marsha Holly got me hyped for though. He um, got me hyped too. Wesley Snipes He's said, a great actor. Wesley Snipes said, "Yeah, this this guy, I, I approve." So Wesley Snipes yeah, said, but Wesley Snipes, is... bro, he's got a whole movie where he sits in a car and talks. And it's amazing. So yeah, if yeah, he's yeah. out here whooping some, I mean, he was cold as cotton mouth. So he was. yeah, he's, he was a good cotton mouth. He was. I was so mad when they killed him, bro. I, One I was so season, upset. man. Yeah, he they built like, his why? character so well. One season. He, yeah. By the way, I want to know. Like um, we know what we know. Um, Midnight Sun. We know Marvel doing a Midnight Sun. Mm -hmm. They already got the werewolf movie. They could almost confirmed basically. They ain't conf officially mm -hmm. confirmed it, but it's coming. We seen Blade with the Black Knight. Midnight Sun is coming, and so Marvel got so they might go three routes: horror, <laughs> Universal, on the ground. So I'm very interested to see what they're gonna do. 
As long as I can't, I can't see pay. Blade, I can't see Blade uh, coming through one of the circles to fight Thanos, though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's some people. He that gonna, just, he's he's gonna be on the horror no. side, though, Joe. That's hey. why. No, no, I'm just no, no, no. I'm just talking about the universe as a whole. Like we want to somehow connect everybody. And I think everybody's connected by the blip. But I'm like, not everybody need to like pull up on. Blade's beat up Captain know. America multiple times. I just want to say, no, he hasn't. He's hmm. never beat him in the comics. He's never beat Captain America in the yeah, comics. I don't remember. It's well, a I don't never remember that. Wrong, that. Like no, said, I don't know. The only person who ever really like, like Daredevil, Black no, Panther, because and Moon Knight they fight kind of like Hold. balance out. Oh, you read Darkhold? I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't pick that up. That was garbage. I didn't. <laughs> I left that. I left that Bro, in the comic dark, book store. I, I, I thought it was cool. There. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed it. You did? I did. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, but I can a- dig it. It's a lot of the stuff coming out. Like it. I said, we got, we got we got Midnight <laughs> Sun. Did. We got um Midnight Sun. We got the Universal stuff with Gore, the God Butcher, which we and the Celestials. So we got that going on. And Girl Thor. Yeah, we got Girl Thor. Um, they can re- We got Girl Iron Man also coming in Wakanda forever too. Yeah, Iron Lad. All them come. Um, they can re- they do have ways to reboot a lot of these characters when they get older. So that's a good thing. Thor, everybody know Thor's reboot. <coughs> Thor reboot is he I become do wanna... um he become what's his name? My mind is lost. He becomes... he's gonna become an all father. He's gonna be like a like. Hopefully, we can see him as like King Thor. That would be dope for me. That would. be There was dope. a Jason Aaron run where Thor he like ran. In the yeah, MCU, do you think? That, um, I'm do you think that's when we get the Venom movie? It's like no. You think we get him oh, all bro. popped over? No, that would be dope. That would be dope, but I don't know. It's such a new story, and I don't know how they would interpret it through the MCU. But that'd be I don't know how though. much longer the MCU is gonna last. I'm excited for trying stuff to run. coming up. There. I don't know how far they're gonna go. You know, but I- I'm not gonna lie. Not right now, and I'm not talking about in the next five, ten years. But like sometime, it would be cool for a reboot just to see like Wolverine. Captain America, uh, T'Chaka, not T'Challa, but like T'Chaka Black Panther, back in World War II, kicking some Nazi ass. That would I mean, be dope, Captain I'm America. I'm here they going to see those are no commandos. I'm here they going to see those There are ways they can reboot this. You hey, know, um, I, I would kind of like the, to see... The multiverse opened up for it, yeah, did. Like, it, did. It, it opened up a lot of lanes. They can but go to six one six. I don't want them like, to be quick. lazy because of the multiverse. I don't want them to be lazy because of the multiverse and just use like characters we've already seen and we just use fan service and fan hype to. Man, Spider Man gave me hope for that because that was my worry before Spider Man. Yeah. I'm like, I thought like, this movie was gonna be some multiverse. Spider Man gave me, it gave me hope, but like I want to see like a rebooted X Men because because like. If we, if you ever watched the '90s X-Men animated series, Cyclops was never like the second man. He was the lead man. Every time Wolverine jumped up to attack somebody, he got flexed. He got thrown away, and then Cyclops had to come in and save him. That Cyclops is, true. is supposed. To, Cyclops is supposed to be the X-Men's Captain America. Wolverine's supposed to kind of be throwing a hissy fit to the side, but Hugh Jackman sold, sells movie tickets. And yeah, he does. As much as I love his Wolverine, I'm I'm cool off of that. Logan is a perfect ending. If you bring him back, you kind of being disrespectful. I agree. I agree. It's like agree. let's bring Iron Depends Man back. But... I think I think Marvel. I think they're gonna keep like just all the time. I think they'll use the multiverse to do something. Would probably be the reboot. Other than that, I don't think they're gonna use yeah. it. Yeah. To like, yeah, they might do away with it in Strange and then just leave it until they're ready to reboot the entire thing when we get like 10 years down the line and they reboot everything. Yeah, like, I was going to say, you get it. Like, because you <laughs> can just say, this is round. 616 and this is Ultimate Universe and just, and that's why you saw certain characters, but I think we'll see some, I think we'll see some more characters. Um, they, I know Mutants is rumored to have a movie coming. I don't think they will use the old guys in five years from now because all them people are going to be really old by then. So I don't know. Real old. Real, real old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, think, I think they ruined all the. Oh, you got to redo. After Dark Phoenix, you got to redo the whole cast. God, yeah, please, and please, please don't do a Phoenix saga again. Please don't ever do the Phoenix saga again. That's I, that's that's true. True. They're doing it again. Yeah. Give us a 50 right. year. I, 50 right, years they, I was going to say they got to do a clean slate. 
Give us like because God loves man kills. We could do God loves man kills. We could do Days of Future, but a, like way better Days of Future Past. We could do I was gonna say, basically that'd be just a, that'd be a redo. Give us give us X Men the animated series in a live action form. We ain't even gotta do anything. Well, else. they got the they got, they, got that. they got the animated version coming, so we'll see how they do that. Um, yeah, that is cool. And that's I hope that might explain how they got there. So they got that coming because yeah. I know we're it's supposed to get Spider Man freshman oh. year too. So yeah, oh yeah, like animated for like when he first starts out. I'm yeah. excited for that. So, I overall, I think for the near future, the MCU, I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm prepared. I know a lot of people say after Endgame, it was like, how how do you go forward? This movie, like, okay, Shit, this movie, damn near top Endgame. How you go me. forward? This, yeah, this movie was like I, my was high level Endgame. Um, some of the people that watched that did both of the movies said, um, Spider Man No Way Home is an appetizer to Doctor Strange. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's what, I don't know about that. That's what I heard. It's like, what's going to go on in there? Um, I hope it don't. I don't know. I know a lot of people want it to be a nostalgia, a, fe- a nostalgia f- fest, but I hope I kind of hope they do what we talked about earlier and just rectify Doctor Strange. Fix him up. Just give us a diet, man. Dude, I want him not to be like this reckless character and it's like, oh, this is second movie. Now he's coming to his own like the comic book. It just took a little while. Just like it took Spider Man three movies. It took Doctor Strange. I mean, he is fighting evil uh, Doctor Strange, so I mean That evil Doctor Strange from the What If series is cold. That he's yep. OP. Yeah. He's like Fuse Zamasu or something coming through. Yeah, we yeah, that, him, that, <laughs> that ending to that trailer was fire. He like, things about to get crazy. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I mean, see that's the thing about <laughs> it. They saw the other Doctor Strange. I'm focused on the fact I saw Shumagora. I know who. Yeah, that. everyone loves Shimagura. They, they said that they said that ain't Shimagura. They said that Gargando. They said, look at the way his eyes. But we don't know though. Yeah, they say it could be shaped forward like they this. They both with tentacles. I haven't seen no teeth. So we gonna have to get some Shimagura. answers in the movie. We gonna have to get some answers in the movie. By the way, Wanda it's is fine Roma to because be that trailer villain, is I'm... on the internet now, and it's gonna get watched. And that mighty trailer is on the internet now. Um, Wanda appears to be maybe the villain, and they like trying to like psych us out in the trailer. Marvel does that. I feel like because like Marvel like oh they do do that. She was like, "What do you know about I mean, the she multiverse?" Go- she was like, "What?" I'm like, "You know about the multiverse?" I mean, Wanda, she we could go this. out of control because she does have that book. She could go out. She's of control. like, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean nothing by that little." T-. He said, "Listen, I'm not here for the town. We're not going to talk about that. I just need you." Right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah, so like she might go out of control, but I'm I'm more focused on the fact I thought that was Shuma. I'm afraid. Yeah, that's gonna make her the new, make her the the Dark Phoenix. That's still bad. (laughs) (laughs) bad. So um, hey, Wanda Wanda made all the mutants disappear. Hmm. So you said make her in the Dark Phoenix. Uh, the whole like, make her Dark Phoenix, Dark Phoenix. Well, the whole little Wanda Vision series is actually based. Off of a Jean Grey storyline, not a, not a Wanda storyline. It's Wanda based Maximals. off of like a, it's it's based off a of Jean Grey like Phoenix. Yeah, it had elements of the. Yeah. It had elements of Wanda. We'll say that for story. a comic discussion. Yeah. It's a, it yeah, so Wanda, oh. Wanda for, for 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 the placeholder for now. Why are you trying to figure out how you gonna bring back the X Men? Let, yeah. let but her you still be got that old wild boy card. in there too. Like let her know, be that powerful wild black, card. That's what I'm saying. What's his name? You still got the uh the black dude from his first Baron movie. Mordo. Baron like Mordo. Mordo's there yeah, too. Baron There's a Mordo. lot going on in that movie. Yeah, Mordo said Mordo the one who told Doctor Strange, uh, you the most dangerous thing to the you know, to the multiverse. Yeah, like he's still screwing with them. So I'm like, oh, they got a shit. lot to answer. Fixing the oh. multiverse, Wanda possibly going out of control, <laughs> Garganto, Evil Strange, and and Baron Hello. Mordo. They got a lot to deal with. Possible Illuminati appearance. It's a, it's a big movie. Hey, the Eternals missed out on hours. a good opportunity for the X Men. The Eternals should have introduced Apocalypse since he's like so ancient and so old. Oh, they they could have had a Egypt. little. They were in Egypt. They, they, that would be they, exactly. They like, no, there is an Eternal. There was a Babylon. So they could do it. They could have like a little A or his face or like something to like, oh shit, mutants. A little pictograph. You know? I mean, there I is the eternal suit though, so they could still do that. They could do that. They're and they still... don't have to make a Marvel rip off of Man of Steel. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> That's basically like, what the eternal suit is coming, so pretty much. Let me watch this dog on trailer. 
But well, while Monte doing that, we're going to talk a little bit more and then we're going to get out of here because we got a little more to talk about. So we want Monte to see Gargano and not. <laughs> I thought it was Shumagorath at first, too, though. I didn't think about it being Gargano. He looks Gargano's. more like a squid I mean, than, a, than like an alien eye. He looked more like a squid. After I watched it a I mean, couple but, times, I had to watch it. You know, like, that's Shumagorath. It's just it's just speculation right now. I, I I can't I can't really speak on who I think it. Is. I thought it was Shumagora. It looked like Gargano. Yeah, I, 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 I thought it, it, it was Paul. But then again, but I've seen, I've seen people, people say it with Gargano stuff, so I know it's leaning but, both ways. And they it's only because I'm not too. really basing it on size. Um, sh- she, it can really. It, yeah. well, but he could be any size he wants. Yeah. He size could be. He could take any form he wants. He's like a Lovecraftian beast. He's like a. It's it's silly, but it's kind of like Starro. How he could either be really big or shoot all them little starros out Star-O's on the Suicide funny, Squad. Bro, and suicide you squad know? Was he was that funny. shit was hilarious. I'm finally a hero! <laughs> that shit was hilarious. He's definitely a character on Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> um, there is also... <laughs> hey, um, um, used to be in Wonder Girl Mountain, well. there's also Same. the possibility of... um, What's his name coming? The one that made the dark hole. I can't think of nobody's name today. I'm, my mind is blank. <laughs> Ask Tori, he read Darkhold. Um, oh, uh, uh, Dormammu? No, the, the, um, the uh, Dark Dimension? No, what's his name? KKK, start with a K. He's trapped oh, in Wonder Girl Mario. I don't know. Hey, what's don't his name? Know. Let me see. What's his name? Uh, Google it real quick. Yeah, Google it. Google will answer Sh- for Sh- you. Shathon. Shathon is in trapped in Wonder Girl Mario. The one that made the Darkhold. That's the one I thought that was going to be okay. our main antagonist for our events thing was freaking Chathon. Because that's the one that gives Wanda her freaking power. Made off of and it's trapped in that book. Yeah. And it's trapped in that book. And she was at Wanda Gore Mountain, so. <laughs> yep. And he wants to take control of her body time. because she's trapped. But. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But they got a lot of, they got a lot of stuff they can do with I'm it. excited to find out. Um, yep. I'm definitely excited to find out. I wonder, am I going to get tired of it? Um. But to be honest with you, they're the only one making interesting stuff right now. So I don't That's know. Right. Um, I, the only exactly thing HBO the has is the, Snyder, is the Snyder cut, and that's too long to watch, so I'll pass on that. A uh, Fast 9, Fast 10 going to come out. <laughs> He's trying to get the rock. I'm like, eh. Um, uh, these are brother, really- come back for the family, please. Mm-hmm. Um, They got mm-hmm. a lot of they got a lot of remakes. Me, yeah. A lot of remakes. That's close. That's real close. I don't. I can't tell if that's Shuma or Gargantos. That's close. Oh, uh, we got we got Top Gun coming out next year. Sonic Two. Have, Have you seen the teaser for that though? Have you seen the teaser for that though? Fire though. Ain't that lie. looks fire, bro. I'm, bro, and he does all his own stuff. We got we got Hocus Pocus, Pocus Two. Oh God, mm. man. A uh, downtown Abbey, uh, Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre, Indiana Jones repeats. That's what How we many Texas have you watched, uh, we had. Have Pre- you watched any of the Taylor Sheridan TV series? Like, uh, there's a. Um, <coughs> I was watching Mayor of Kingstown earlier today, and there's another one called 1883 and Yellowstone. He's got some really good writing in them shows. I like Yellowstone. I don't want to check out in anything like that. Okay, okay so 1883, 1883 is on Paramount, and it's the pre- prequel to Yellowstone. And then Mayor of Kingstown. Uh, there's a movie reviewer named John Campia who made a joke <laughs> talking about the best uh, <coughs> what's his name, Jeremy Renner show on TV right now and it's definitely not Hawkeye. Oh yeah, he got, oh yeah, that movie on um, Mayor, yeah. I saw Mayor of Kingstown I'm, is I'm supposed fire. to watch that. Hellraiser coming out, Pinocchio, all remakes because that's what they are now. We just The worst part is they just did like, a Pinocchio, uh, uh, Pinocchio Live action, just like a few years ago. Like they really doing, oh, they're doing a, uh, they're doing that. We could almost do a whole episode on like remakes in Hollywood. They're doing a Willy Wonka remake with Timothy, uh, the Dune Kid. That's the fourth. That's the fourth reiteration. Indiana Jones, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Creed Three, all the movies, all the movies remakes and a second. Michael B. Jordan for getting that Rocky money. <laughs> Shout uh, out to Michael B. Jordan, keeping a good, keeping like the oldest franchise ever. <laughs> if they're gonna pay, him, it is the longest money. running franchise. If you think about it, it it's is. the longest running one. Rocky Marciano yeah. story. Yeah. So long for everything made off of Rocky. Um, that but that's about it. Anything else anybody want to talk about before we get out of here? Because it's an hour and thirty minutes. Uh, 
I, I no. want to give a special thanks to Jacob, a.k.a. Batman, for coming through to this episode, Let's man. Go. I knew he was going to come out here me. and rock it, man. I already knew it. <laughs> I was like, man, he's going to be the one to debunk everything I say, so I got to be careful. I know you were good people. Man, but, man, I appreciate you, man, coming through. Nice to meet you. got to be on more episodes, man. When we get into the comics, when we get into anime, all that stuff, man. We appreciate that, man. Definitely invite me. The only... Um, I don't get into sports that much, but if you guys talk about boxing or anything like that, or I'll oh. definitely talk about that with y'all. Oh, there that's them for two, right though. There it goes. Cover that. Cover yes, that. Yeah, me and Von, definitely. we got on get, get on this kind of stuff on uh, my channel. I got my okay. boy Miller DC, and we talk a lot of boxing. Ryan Garcia, um, making fun of uh, Tank for fighting Cruz. Now Ryan Garcia trying to fight Cruz. It's all kind of stuff going yeah. on in boxing. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Paul knocking out. Tyron Wood is sleeping. Tyron Wood, oh my gosh. I mean, Stop Fury it. getting out. There's hey. a lot of stuff going on. At least he got paid. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> I knew he was going to go to sleep as soon as I seen him get that role. Like, he looked at Jake Paul like, fine, I'll get knocked out. God damn it. Like, <laughs> I, get, I get a cut of the pay per view, right? <laughs> I'll go to sleep. No, they I they gave me a concession with him. <laughs> they gave 10% of the concessions. Y'all know what's crazy. Hey, Tyron he deserved, Woodley. He deserved a, Tyron he deserved Woodley. a piece of everything after that. Tyron Woodley used to be so cold, and now he's just so, so sad. You know what happened? Usman, people say Usman scared him hey, once he got but caught. If he's he was a vet. They say ever since um, Usman caught him after he was aggressive, he hasn't been aggressive since. That's because Usman beat it out, took of, fight him. out of him. Usman, <laughs> Usman <laughs> took his life from him. Like He like... He like sucked his energy from him. Like, oh man, Joe, when I tell you Woodley, if he hurt you, you were going to sleep. But then he hurt Usman, and then he got caught. And ever since then, he'll punch you and look at you for like a minute to see if he really hurt. <laughs> I'm like, the no. He went from the, as my boy said, he went from the frozen. He went from the chosen one to the frozen one because every time he get that yep. punch, he'll just hesitate. So when people he got a like, good hit. Yeah, so people say um in the first fight, oh, why did he hesitate this rig? I'm like, bro, have you watched the last five UFC fight? He literally right. hurt Kobe Covington and stopped. <laughs> Damn, him pull the trigger. He just looked at him like, no, but, uh, you hurt? I did enjoy being on the show, though. It was nice That's to be on the show. Man. So you nice here. to meet y'all. Nice to be you. here. Right, any last word, Monte? Bottom merch. Y'all know what to do, you man. Know. Link, everybody links in the description. Jacob links in the description too. He's gonna send it to me. So his links to be in the description. He talk comic books. We'll probably have him on some random shows about comics and stuff like that. And which I can nerd out because I like to nerd out over comics. You know it. <laughs> we could do that. So I appreciate everybody. Friendly neighborhood scumbag. One more day. Best on the mic, Joe. Yep, they got like, an extra day. Adam Cole, boom, the alpha. <laughs> yeah. I had to do it because we don't see it on TV no more because he's randomly doing nothing. All right, peace. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, keep stopping something amazing can happen.